Independent dealers hit with inventory problems will find some space or not, depending on these key components. Inventory mm -hmm. and lack of it. Uh, the things went really crazy uh, over the last um, six or so months. We had, uh, and this stems all the way back to cash for clunkers, where we didn't really understand what the impact of that was going to be until it was exacerbated by Hurricane Sandy, where we had all of those vehicle, vehicles taken out of commission with Hurricane Sandy mm -hmm. on top of the cash for clunkers, and all of a sudden, we don't have as many uh, used cars out there. You add into that the recession, where people were hanging on to their cars longer, they weren't trading them in, and we've got a, a, a big uh, gap in our inventory. Mm -hmm. um, in Arizona, we had our own challenges because our vehicles are, uh, generally in incredibly good shape. We don't have winters and salt and our, 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 you know, we don't have motor mounts getting rusted out and body panels getting rusted out and our cars just happen to last longer. Uh, so this was a great place for folks on the East Coast that were uh, uh, missing inventory to come over and, and uh, you know, not poach our vehicles, but to, you know, come and buy our vehicles and, and, and ship them back to the, to the East Coast. Uh, the, uh, that drove up prices. We were seeing uh, wholesale prices that were just unfathomable. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, we had to pay them. At, at, at the beginning, uh, you know, uh, dealers were saying, well, I'm not paying that for that vehicle. And eventually it was like, well, I need inventory. I'm paying that for that vehicle now. Mm -hmm. Um, we've, we've seen that soften a bit, which is good. It's good for everybody, I think. Uh, good for the consumer, good for the dealers. Uh, things are normalizing. It's still not back down to where I think it should be, but you know, that'll depend on uh, the economy continuing to rebound and folks saying, okay, it's time for me to trade my vehicle in and time for me to upgrade. That will put a lot more vehicles onto the market. And I, Again, I just I think it's good for the independent auto dealer industry. We just have, I think, a, a rosy future.